Hey and welcome back to another Darkfall review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Render Farm Blender Grid. So I should mention I'm not being paid or sponsored for this video. I just wanted to share this review with you guys showing you um, how easy it is to get your quotes on your scenes. Okay so they do have some examples to show you what it may cost if you want these same exact uh, settings. For example this one here on the left it was rendered at 1280 by 720 for 145 frames and a thousand samples. Now this took almost four hours and it cost $30. Uh, whereas this one here, this amazing classroom scene, was rendered at a higher resolution for the same amount of frames but with less samples. This took around the same sort of time as well and it cost 40 US dollars. So this might give you an idea of how much it may cost you for your scene. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create an account. You have the free, the basic and the pro. Now all three of them come with the online project management which is essentially the dashboard where your projects are going to be. You can also use the add-on, so upload st things straight from Blender. To upgrade to the Basic or Pro, um, they do have the benefits, like for example the Basic, you can render 75 free projects a month at a resolution of 1080, maximum of 200 frames. Oh, if that is still isn't enough, you can go for the Pro, which is unlimited, and a maximum of 400 frames. So uh, it depends on how much you render per month. I'm going to go ahead and sign up for a free account. Okay, so getting a quote is very, very easy. So once you've signed up, you want to go to the main page. Again, you want to check out the tutorials if you have any trouble um, uploading your scene. But what we need to do is go ahead and upload our scene. So if you read this, um, it tells you you need to create a zip file. Um, if you have extra textures, obviously textures on everything. So you do need to make a zip file or you can pack them into the blend. So go ahead and open up your scene. So find where you saved your folder. Just click open. And you can either upload the dot blend or upload your zip folder, which I'm going to use the zip. And it will take a bit longer because there's a lot more images in the zip folder. But So you can pack the images into the blend, but if you have image sequences, you will need to create the, uh, the zip folder. Okay, so now it's uploaded. What we do need to do is check the settings. Um, if there's anything we want to change before we get a quote, this is where we do it now. So give this a second to update. And the first option we have, we can either render it out as a single frame or as an animation. So if you just wanted to render out a single image, maybe have um, a high resolution image, you could do that. But I'm going to render it out as an animation. You can change the start frame and the end frame if you need to. Same thing for the resolution. And these won't need changing, but just to check that they're correct. Okay, so let's increase these samples to 200. We can change these later on when we get our quote to change the price as well. Another good thing we have here is the warnings. Um, if there's any textures with our missing images or if there's any uh, particle systems with, uh, that are not baked. This one will be fine since there's no motion on the particle system. Um, but if you do have any motion, you will need to bake it. Make sure your email is correct and then let's get a quote. So once that's done, you can just scroll back up here, um, showing you the progress. Again, if you read this, it tells you you don't need to wait. You can go back and do something else and come back later on. Um, essentially, we're just waiting for an email. So it calculates the render time as well. A few, a few minutes later, you should get an email. So once you click the link on your email, you'll be brought to this page here. And if you've submitted multiple um, projects, you'll see them all here, but we only have one for now. We can move these sliders around and increase or decrease them as we need to, like for example the samples or how long it will be rendered. So let's say for example we're not bothered how long it will take, we can just bump this all the way up and straight away the price will change right here in real time. Same thing if we're in a rush and we need to get this on a deadline, we need two hours, um, again it will just update for us. Same thing for the samples and the resolution. So you can really play around with these and find um, a combination that fits your budget and your time frame and whatever else uh, sort of factors vary into it. So it's all very well explained how much it's going to cost, how much VAT, how much uh, render credits you may have. So go ahead and pay via PayPal or credit card. So once you've made your payment, and you'll get another link to this page here, and you can click this button here and see any rendered frames. Uh, if there is a problem, just click back out and then click this cancel button, so you will get a partial refund as well. 
So a few things that um, I would like is obviously maybe a preview when you're uh, rendering something out. So as you get your quote, you can see a preview of your scene. Another thing is the dashboard. It needs maybe a few more buttons to go straight to our rendering projects and things like that. Uh, for now, what you have to do is just click a link and it will be, you know, it'll take you back to that page. But these are small things that are actually being worked on. I did speak to the guys at Blender Grid and they are working on a preview and they are working on um, adding some more functionality to your account. So they have quite a few things that they are working on to improve this even more. I am happy with how it works. It's very simple. It's very easy to use. I did have some trouble at first and I did um, cancel the project. I got partial refund. When I did have some trouble as well, I contacted Blender Grid and they got back to me within the same day, which was very helpful. So the other things we probably should mention, um, if you do have installed add-ons, do have them downloaded so there's no trouble there if you do have a, an add-on which they don't have downloaded you can speak to them and they will download that add-on so there's no trouble with how your project should work so if you want to try this out blender grid have provided a link where you can start your account and get twenty dollars free credit so you can try it out see if you like it and uh, yeah there's no commitment so thanks to you guys at blender grid for allow for sharing that link with us hopefully you guys will find that useful so I should mention that it's only for new uh, users. If you're already a user of Blender Grid, that link probably won't work for you. Um, it's only for new new users. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with how it all worked. Uh, again, there would be some improvements. It's been by far the best render farm I've used. So if you want to give it a try, go click the link and get your account started. Hopefully you enjoyed this review. Thank you for watching. And uh, until the next time, take care.